definitely a difficult situation. Nobody's saying it can't be done. So right now, we just got to take it one game at a time. We're definitely uh, stuck in the mud right now. We're being down 3-0, but we got to find a way out of it. And uh, But it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of heart, uh, a lot of dedication. So, uh, But we got to take it one game at a time right now. Paul, so was that opening sequence of the game, you miss a layup, Kevin misses the putback, Avery misses the three, kind of symbolic of the frustration you guys are feeling right now? Um, yeah, we're definitely frustrated. We felt like we got a lot of good looks tonight. They, they just didn't fall. Uh, you know, sometimes the way, that's the way the ball bounced for you. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're in a situation we're in. We can't do nothing about it uh, until Sunday. That's uh, about it. What well, was the turn? What is it for to come out of the game that you know? so much like this and to have this happen. Uh, it was very disappointing game, a must win game if we had any uh, hopes of tying this thing up uh, come Sunday. Uh, uh, very disappointing. But uh, like I said, we put ourselves uh, in this situation and we don't even have to get ourselves up. What about the crowd tonight, Paul? Can you talk about that? Well, we had a good crowd, a lot of energy in the building. I think, you know, uh, you know, I thought we wanted it so bad. We were so anxious. and. Uh, just to, just to feed off the energy of the crowd, but I think it, uh, it kind of a little bit got the best of us. You know, when you want it so bad, yeah, you, you rush, uh, you get real anxious, and I thought that's what we did for most of the night. I thought we, uh, we played hard, we had some good looks. Uh, just the ball just didn't uh, bounce over. You guys haven't uh, broke 80 yet in the series. What's happening offensively? Uh, you know, the Knicks are, are really doing a good job defense, it's trying to take us out of our, our uh, offense. Uh, I think uh, our three-point game hasn't really been there pretty much the whole series. We haven't really got to a line a ton. Uh, but we got to figure it out. We got to uh, do a better job at knocking down the open shots. Got to get to the free throw line. Got to move the ball. Can't turn it over tonight. A lot too many turnovers once again. And I think that's really something that's biting us. Are you stunned that you're in this situation? Got into the situation, you know, like of all the things you're expecting coming into the series, this might be the last one. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely surprised. Uh, you know, I thought we were a team that matched up well with the Knicks. Uh, uh, I thought, you know, we played them pretty good throughout the season. We lost a couple close ones, but you know, I didn't expect us, you know, coming in. I knew this would probably be a long series, you know, being that the way we matched up. Uh, really, am yeah, surprised that we are down. Right now. Deep down, do you have faith, Paul, that one game at a time you, you can make NBA history? Well, yeah. I mean, it's just that's all it's going to take right now, one game at a time. Uh, and that's got to be the focus. Okay, look ahead. Uh, you know, the focus is Sunday, and, and, and we'll go from there. Paul, Paul, Doc said that the team lost its spirit throughout this game. At what point could you see the team starting to get a little less confident? Uh, I think it was tough because it was like, you know, you try to make a run, and then they make a big three. Uh, you know, then you miss wide open shots or miss a layup. Uh, and then they make uh, a, a, a tough basket. You know, and, you know, you get yourselves in those situations, it, it, it gets tougher. You know, you look at each other, and you look down, and uh, you know, some guys lose their confidence uh, in what we're trying to do. But you know, you got to stick with it and understand it's hard. You know, when it's not easy. Uh, it's going to be difficult. The playoffs are hard to win in, and we got to figure out a way to grind through. Paul, one of the guys who stood out for you tonight is Kevin Garnett. It looked at times like he was trying to kind of put you guys on his shoulders. What, what did you see out of him out there tonight? Well, he, he played the way we wanted to play. He got the ball inside, made some good moves, uh, you know, rebounded the ball well, defended well, uh, you know, set hard picks, and we're going to need that from Kevin again, game four. So, uh, you know, the effort that uh, he put in, you know, he. He uh, is an emotional leader. Uh, you know, we're going to need that effort again, but we're going to need a uh, better effort from everybody else also. Paul, how satisfied are you with the looks you've, you personally have gone on offense so far in the series? Well, I thought I had some pretty good looks this year. My three ball hasn't really been there, but I thought I had some good looks. And, you know, knocks, looks that usually fall for me. So I continue to uh, take advantage of that. Hopefully I can knock some down on Sunday, open up uh, the rest of my game, and uh, and see what happens. Well, how frustrating is it that they're a <coughs> team that you guys aren't whole, and you guys got so many guys out, and how frustrating is it that you guys are kind of being exposed, but you guys are, are not whole? Well, I mean, it is what it is. You know, you really can't look at that as an excuse. I mean, right now, when we get out there, we got to play with. I mean, that's the hand that we've been dealt. So, you know, you can't look out and say, you know, what, what if we had this, what if we had that? We don't. So the guys that we got out there, 
I think are capable and we got to go out there and that's what it is. I mean, that's that's what it's been the last few few weeks, the last month. So uh, and we understood that.